A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh As we continue in these months of mourning and lamentation and reflection on the message of Karbala and the legacy of Imam Hussein, we now point our focus on a tradition from the sixth Imam, Imam Jafar ibn Muhammad as-Sadiq, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, in which he speaks to us about a practical uh, application, a practical way that we can actually promote and propagate the message of Hussein while at the same time receiving divine blessings from Allah. We know that there are many things that people can do. Some are great orators and they will lecture and speak around the world to packed audiences. Others perhaps would be well to do other acts to encourage the community and to get them into a mood of remembering Imam Hussein. Maybe others don't have the ability to speak or to convey a message, but they have the financial means to support these majalis, these gatherings of Hussein. Or maybe others would like to donate towards the publication of books and articles and literature to educate Muslim and non-Muslim alike about the legacy of Imam al Hussein. May God's peace and blessings be upon him. In today's tradition, we want to reflect on one beautiful aspect of Muharram, which is the lamentations, the poetry which is recited. Whether this be in Arabic or Persian or Urdu or English or French or whatever language the lovers of Hussein speak, this is an act which is rewarded by Allah and which is looked upon favorably in the teachings of Islam. And in this tradition for today from the sixth Imam, he states the following. There is none who recites poetry about al Hussein and weeps and makes others weep by means of it, except that Allah makes paradise incumbent upon him and forgives his sins. Poetry has been an aspect of Islamic culture for literally the last 14 centuries, since the beginning of Islam. Whether you look at the poetry which has been compiled by the Arabs as they came into Islam, you look at the poetry written, let's say, by the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, or any of his successors, poetry and com you know, uh, conveying a message to this style has always been there, not only within Islam, but even many other cultures around the world use this beautiful art form to convey a message. And the message of Hussein is no different. Yes, it can be conveyed by a lecture or by a blog posting or a video on our favorite social media platform. But it can also, and it must also be conveyed using styles of poetry, which each and every culture are accustomed to. So that means that those within the Arabic culture, within the Arab speaking community, need to convey Karbala in their own style within Arabic poetry. Those who are, for example, conversant in Urdu, they need to also go forth in Urdu and write poetry, which has been done, and they have to continue in this methodology. And those of us who mother, whose mother tongue is English, we also have to make an effort to convey the message of Hussein in English to in a medium which would be known to the societies that we live in, a style which would be acceptable to obviously the culture that we live in and also within the religious uh, dictates. But we need to be able to convey and you know, com compose poetry in multiple languages, especially English and any other language which is being spoken in Western countries, French for example, or Spanish or many other languages, to convey the message of Sayyidur Shuhada, Imam Hussein, may God's peace and blessings be upon him. And we see that there are already many examples that are, have been produced in the Muslim world from the youth, from many other people of many different segments of the community. And this is a reminder and encouragement for all of the young men and women to take up the pen and to begin to write poetry because as this tradition tells us that the reward of conveying poetry and making others weep of Hussein and his tragedy is nothing but paradise and the forgiveness of our sins. And if we would like this easy ticket to paradise and forgiveness, let us begin to convey and compose words of poetry and prose of Imam Hussein and the noble family and the noble mission. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.